Coming up on Eyewitness News this morning, stranded wicked winter weather pounds western New York. Plus, since early yesterday afternoon, motorists have been holed up in downtown Buffalo buildings. Even school children were unable to make it home yesterday. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kathleen Layton. And I'm John Kosick. It's a Tuesday, the 21st day of November. The time now is 5 o'clock. Kathleen's used to being here at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Wrong 5 o'clock, though. It's 5 o'clock, but it's awful dark oh, outside. You never made it home, did you? No, I didn't. I had stayed over at the Adams Mark with hundreds of other people that were stranded around the downtown area. John walked here how many miles? <laughs> Three and a half miles along Delaware Avenue. So if you saw some guy in a big red coat falling down a lot, that was me. High Saying, no, I don't want but a beer. People, people were stuck all over the place. It's a parking lot out there. It is, it is. All the streets are parking lots, and there are cars everywhere pointed every which way. I don't know how they're going to get the plows mm. in there. A lot of them have run out of gas. Let's talk about the uh, throughway right now. There are cars stranded on the throughway. Between 500 and 900 cars are stranded on the throughway. There are 100 cars on the Skyway. About 40 people slept in their cars on the Skyway overnight. And I can tell you, I passed hundreds of cars on, on Elmwood in Delaware, and just people aren't going anywhere. So if you don't have to go, even if you do have to go somewhere today, stay home. It's just the best route to go. We do have one glimmer of good news. The Peace Bridge is open. I don't know how you'll get to it, but it is open now. Metro Rail is closed. Oh, another person that had to walk part of the way is Aaron Mankowski, who's standing by to tell us what all this weather is shaping up like today. Yeah, on Elmwood, the Wilson Farms right there, that uh, black Nissan, that's mine. So uh, I had to walk a few miles. I didn't see John on the road, but uh, did get offered uh, quite a bit of uh, beverages along the way. Now, a couple of interesting notes here. 25 inches of snowfall fell at the airport. That's our official total. That is the third greatest 24-hour snowfall total. Not for November, for the entire winter season. Unbelievable. Last year, it took us to 40 mid. degrees, but you know, that's four days away. Mm. Yeah. And that's one, one thing. The, the plows have been able to get to some streets, but what the plows have been able to do is take off the first, you know, eight inches of snow and there's mm -hmm. still like a pack of three inches of just pure ice, ice coming yeah. down it's almost like a, um, a hockey rink right after the zamboni in some cases it's so very really very icy you know what just stay home well erie county as you know is in a state of emergency this morning after old man winter dropped a snow bomb on parts of western new york the city of buffalo got hit the hardest and now the national guard is moving in to help us dig out let's get the latest live now from eyewitness news reporter joanna passeri in downtown buffalo good morning joanna good morning john good morning kathleen the city remains crippled at this hour in a state of emergency and still looks pretty much like one big parking lot hours after that massive storm has moved out of this area. It all began yesterday afternoon around 3 o'clock. Thunder, lightning, blowing and drifting snow. Downtown workers let out early for the day, made a mad dash for home, but few got anywhere as gridlock gripped the city. School buses carrying children got stuck. So did metro buses, and many people were forced to ditch their vehicles and head to the nearest safe, dry shop shelter to spend the night. Now, despite abandoned vehicles littering streets and about two feet of snow on the ground, a plan is underway to begin cleanup. National Guard is on the way here. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Siff talked to Mayor Massiello earlier this morning. The governor is going to uh, send in uh, the National Guard. We're in the process of uh, identifying where tow trucks are and, uh, and other kinds of snow fighting equipment. Other agencies, state agencies, are uh, sending equipment in, and we're now organizing an effort to get all the available equipment, personnel we can, uh, so that we can begin the massive uh, adjustment of moving automobiles and plowing snow. Now, there is a driving ban in many communities because of the poor conditions, including right here in the city of Buffalo. However, Mayor Massiello says that people with cars stranded on city roads can come into town today to get them. No one will be ticketed. However, only people who have cars here on city streets that need to be uh, picked up can be on the roads down here in the city today. Now, many of us are reminded of the blizzard of 77 when we had a storm like this. However, this storm did not have the high winds or the frigid temperatures as we had back in 77, but we all had that helpless feeling against Mother Nature's fury. Live in downtown Buffalo, Joanna Passeri, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. little consolation with that. Thank you much, Joanna. And while the storm that clobbered Buffalo late yesterday caught thousands of city workers by surprise, folks that got caught in the crippling gridlock, Eyewitness News reporter Brian Kale talk with some of them and emergency personnel. Many thought leaving work early was all they needed to do, but they were wrong. By 4 o'clock in the afternoon, gridlock had replaced the normal commute home, and lots of folks found themselves stuck for hours. It's taking me three hours to get here from the main place mall. You're not going to run out of gas, are you? No, I got a half tank right now, but the guy in front of me 
might not have as much. You ever see anything like this? No. I'd rather be in a hurricane. Yeah, you don't seem to be uh, worried. Well, I got a full tank of gas, so that helps. Nobody seems to be really upset. Everybody's taking this in stride. What can we do? I'm just hoping my gas holds up. Some people opted to abandon their cars and walk home or to a local hotel, perhaps. And that created concerns for emergency personnel. It's not only our ambulances, but it's, you know, the fire trucks and the police cars that cannot access roads and it cannot access any type of uh, situation that you have, whether it's a car accident, uh, you know, someone that may have shortness of breath, um, or even the snow plows. Long after the snow ended, those cars are a reminder of just what a crippling snowstorm this one turned out to be. In Buffalo, Brian Kale, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.